Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And we're going to be finding out all that we can from spirit when it comes to your current situation for Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see here. Hmm. Look at what we got going on here. We're seeing something through the eye of the needle, and we could be blasting away. The deception that may have been weaved around us from others or ourself, because, you know, the ego does have, um, you know, its way sometimes. That's just life. But we have this um, experience right now where, wow, there may be a new threading that's happening here when it comes to manifesting something brand new, maybe even a whole new outcome for yourself. And I see that there's some type of great epiphany or revelation that's happening currently, or maybe it already happened, or it soon will be. So I, I actually sense tower with both of these cards in the fact that it, it's not about um, anything negative. It is about seeing the falseness. Now that I said that, I do feel that you may resonate with the last SOS reading and that a uh, video link is in the description box below, but anyhow, that's exactly what's going on. Seeing, seeing enough falseness, ready to abolish that, ready to just be very powerful and intentional with authenticity, which creates a solid foundation for anything that you're doing or pursuing. And I see that you know, spirit is backing you up on something here. And when it comes to weaving what it is that you want, a dream, a goal, a vision, what else for Aries? The other thing I'm picking up to Aries is four of cups. We could even ab abolish a sense of feeling indifferent with things, um, harnessing more uh, focus within yourself, um, not giving into moodiness or bad situations from the past or something that we may have felt was a missed opportunity. You might have been intentionally creating space between you and others or something here so that you can stay focused. It's working. It is working. Wow, look at that awakening. <laughs> look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. We were just talking about this authenticity, standing in truth. Take your time with things. You know, it's kind of funny, but I'm seeing this big old needle here, and I'm just seeing this as you, and maybe your angel as that thread, <laughs> ready to get right in that you know, in the middle of that needle or however you say that so that you can start sewing here. So we are gaining a uh, revelations perspective. This is also a indication that you are in the process of rebirthing yourself. So expect to feel some type of new curiosity when it comes to life, adventure, what's happening. Three of fire, nice abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. Start thinking long-term. So I am seeing a situation where maybe there has been, you know, delays when it comes to moving forward, or you, maybe you've been feeling it, it been at a snail's pace, but there is something about you retrieving and receiving your abundance from your past efforts here. Now, the other thing that you may need to know is whatever you start new, um, it's highly um, going to be successful here with the three of fire. So we do have more fire sign coming through Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you might be breaking free and doing something on your own here to keep something uh, pure and something more alive. Just listen to your intuition. What else for Aries? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. We got the Twin Flame card coming out. I'm not really surprised with what's going on with you. It's been in your energy for a while that you've been really advancing, soul searching, soul growing, coming into alignment with seeing the divine within yourself, also accepting things that may have been hard to accept about oneself. And when you can do that, you're coming into like the eye of God here, loving yourself unconditionally, getting ready to love um, your situation and of another or others unconditionally. Now, some of you, you may have had something going on here with a twin flame or you're getting prepared for a union of great spiritual integration, alignment, and abundance, and yes, love. If those areas are looking for love, well, I'm just seeing this thing being like everything is in uniform. I don't know why I'm hearing the word uniform, but everything is becoming uniform. Let's get more about this twin flame. Congratulations, by the way, for reaching a level of great integration and activation in one's life. Let's get more about the twin flame for Aries. Also, also with this twin flame, it can bring about abolishing and vanishing falseness because you're kissing the divine within yourself. You're loving yourself that much. You can't help but be awakened to the falseness that, again, maybe others have been weaving around themselves or around you or what the ego may have weaved around our own self at times. That's okay, though. The ego is not bad nor good. It's just, it's part of us. It's part of our genetic makeup. Health and healing. Ooh, you may have a twin flame, too, that's involved with spiritual healing or activating their own unique abilities and gifts because you are. Be open to healing information as well. I am seeing this thing about integrity and staying true to what you feel in tune with, with um, relationships, especially with relationships right now. You might let bygones or have let bygones be bygones. I feel at the three of wands, you are pretty much in the emperor mode anyways with the three of wands, Aries, and that is associated with you, your zodiac sign. <clears throat> so I feel there's something about you, you know, standing your ground and maintaining your position and just keep moving forward. Now, there's something that may require change, right? Because we are in a place of expansion and retrieving abundance, so pay attention to those things right now, Aries, that you're feeling a need to detox from or to change or to implement. It's all good, right? We're doing things that are that's healing and healthy for us. This is non-negotiable, by the way. It's already activated and happening within you. You are possibly becoming more sensitive to your environment. You may be wanting to stay home more. Do that. Do things that make you feel like you're protecting your energy during this time of rebirth. What else? Look at that fertility. There's a lot going on when it comes. Oh, and you got to drink more water. You got the Midas touch right now. Something that is, you know, wanted by you is also wanted by spirit. Get ready to weave something here and catch what it is that you want. Use intention. This is a great time uh, for those that may be involved with wanting to make a family or the conception of a baby. Well, here you go. Now, that's not going to resonate for all of you. But what will resonate with you is having the Midas touch. This is a good time to put things into um, you know action here when it comes to being creative. I already said this, clear and shield your energy. I just knew this. I knew you have, okay, I just know that you have to do something important. Something's going on where it's just non-negotiable when it comes to protecting yourself, those things that you are preserving to keep pure, your goals, your dreams, your visions, your projects. You've got projects up in your mind, I know. Drink more water. Pay attention, again, how you're feeling because you are going through a rebirth which is taking an incredible amount of energy. 
So drink more water, water to replenish. And also, you know, you're channeling great healing energy from the divine here. So there's great spiritual activation, like I talked about, like a, kundal a kundalini arising here. Great a passion ignites and awaits you. If you've been feeling tired or lethargic or maybe there's just so much going on, make sure you are doing things to drink more water, to flush your system out, and to keep yourself hydrated here. Maybe there's something, too, about spending more time near water. But yes, you do need to clear and shield your energy. I feel that God is giving you, uh, you know, a lot of ideas and situations right now and people to bring your dreams to reality and to give you, yes, a lo the love life you've always wanted. What else? So clearing and shielding your energy will need to be done here, most likely on a daily basis, right? It's just about using, using attention, focus, prayer, anything that you can do to make sure that you are highly, in, oh, this is really important actually, especially with a twin flame, because you can get so engulfed with another here that you may lose yourself and you don't want to lose yourself. This is when be things become negative, toxic, you know, o overwhelming. You are clearing and shielding your energy so that you know where you begin and others you know, where you begin and end and others begin and end and also where the world begins and ends. Because some of you, you're doing something here when it comes to uh, healing others. So it's important to clear and shield your energy so that you can use great discernment. You understand what's yours, what's not yours. Freedom, just keep choosing freedom too, Aries. Look at that. Enjoy success and happiness. And it's landing on health and healing, drinking more water. Your rebirth is assured with success, happiness. You got this three of wands. So there is something about, you know, again, things looking very good, your past efforts, financial gains are more than likely. And also I'm seeing something possibly with foreign themes or a traveler here because we're on this path of expansion, which is causing you to expand adventure as well in your life. And that's always a good thing, especially for um, Aries, fire sign. What else? Yeah, you might've felt like something was like dead or dead weight. This might sound strange, but I'm getting this vision too about, I don't know, I saw flip-flops, I don't know why, flip-flops, but then just like really simple clothes, like clothing, very simple clothing where, I don't know, where however you feel, where it makes you just feel very simple for now, um, and not to the point where, you know, I'm not trying to say you need to dull yourself out, but there may just be something with just being very light and airy here in a sense. Okay, well, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. You got indecision, but then you got success here. Yeah, see, we're stand, we're at this three of wands, and we might be not sh we may not be so sure what to do here. Okay, I know that there is no greater goal than to love, so you got to follow your heart and something here. Let's get more with indecision for Aries. And I was just telling you, Aries, you got to go, go towards the path that gives you the most freedom, create creatively, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all, okay? Let's get more with this indecision because some of you might be questioning yourself. You, you may be questioning your success because you're at the three of wands, okay? Three of wands, you're patiently waiting. You've got to maintain focus when it comes to making sure that your mind isn't going into the negative, right? Because it's about having, um, you know, being optimistic here. Let's get more with indecision for Aries. I see two of swords and six of wands here. So 
we do have some type of success with making a decision. Let's get a little bit more with indecision for you, though. Because Six of Wands is like victory. We do have balance. Nice. The need for balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moderation. Cooperation and compromise. We may need to get into a place of, you know, being neutral about a, about a situation. Oh, you need to wait for perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, wait for perfect timing. I do feel that you would resonate with the last SOS reading because this was, uh, the, I'm pretty sure there was this thing about uh, the perfect timing. Rest is essential, actually. I'm sure that might come out too. <laughs> But make sure you are um, paying attention and using discernment when it comes to moderation and things. Remember, it's health, healing, drinking more water, um, and maybe even staying in more, especially if it feels like it just drains you to go out and, and keep doing and doing and doing, okay? Because you're probably absorbing a lot of different energies as well at the same time. Again, you want to flush those energies out. Temperance is here with balance, so this is good. No wonder I'm seeing victory with this uh, success. <laughs> the right opportunity is making itself available in a, a way to you. Sagittarius is um, associated with that balance card. Empty well, time to replenish. Yeah, you may have figured something out here when it came to, you know, what's been dried up, what's, what, what you may need to or have left behind. No ifs, ands, buts, or guilty about it. No regrets. It's time to replenish. It's time to fill your well up, right? Balance, moderation, health, healing. Let's see. Let's get more with this. We have this. Um, things are looking very good when it comes to resources give us more with the empty well time to replenish we got the moon card oh important psychic insights events behind the scenes <clears throat> so release your fears and release fears that hold you back you know, don't be afraid. I feel this is, this is, you know, you stepping into actually king and queen of wands, your position, okay, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have the moon card that's associated with uh, cancer and also Pisces, important psychic insights. Yes, this is this whole thing about that awakening <clears throat> and justice, <laughs> maintaining a sense of health and balance and integrity. Okay. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs, especially your beliefs over others, because it could have been really draining for some of you, um, you know, when it came to too much de uh, demands or, you know, others wanting you to do something or to pursue something when it's going against everything about what you want to do. But only take that if it resonates, because it won't for all of you. Really, what this is signifying that it is, you know, Listen to your intuition when it comes to what you're replenishing yourself with. But you are, if you haven't already, you will receive psychic insights. And Spirit is saying there's, there's an angelic justice going on. There's like a heavenly uh, balancing of the karmic scales, reaping what you've sown. And what you've been sowing has been good. Don't be fooled by things right now when you were feeling lost or something has been depleted or gone, it's making way for new. And we do have some type of spiritual contract here that's coming into alignment that is wanted and needed. In fact, you're going to want this. You're going to want this type of contract and alignment. <clears throat> what else? <clears throat> Power of joy. Focus on those things that give you joy. Hobbies, projects, people. What gives you the joy? And that may take some time here. 
because this is going to help you with intention. This is going to help you stay focused with the positive. This is going to attract the positive. And this is also going to replenish you. What, what does Aries like to do that makes Aries have fun? That's the key right now. Or, and maybe even the key could be too is just to laugh at a situation, even a bad one. Be light about it. Be unbothered, unfettered. Know that you are in this process of replenishing your own well. What else? Surround yourself with protective energy. Do wear whatever it is. To, you know, there is something, again, that you are being um, asked to be vigilant about when it comes to your own new skin, your own new awakening, your own new territory. Let's get more um, with the arrow here, you know, with all this protective energy around you. You're clearing and shielding your energy. <clears throat> And the other thing I, I, I'm also seeing, Aries, is with justice and that balance is we're in this, if you're not feeling like it now, you, you will be soon. <laughs> you're just coming into this place where, you know, you, you can observe the mishaps, the harsh realities, whatever's going on, but you don't need to be inundated by it. You don't need to be made of it. It's like you are... Um, you know, above the world or not of the world. You can do it. There's something that spirit is saying. Just keep protecting and shielding your energy. Focus on your own strengths. There may be something that you feel that you may need to do on your own for right now. Or have a conversation or be assertive because I, I feel whenever Archangel Michael shows up with this card, he's pushing you to remain in your own truth. Your self-respect, your dignity makes you more romantically attractive, but it's also gaining respect. What else? A lot of you Aries are shutting the door on an old, old chapter, an old karmic story. Radical acceptance. And we've got the beloved here. You know, we're talking about something igniting your passion. We have a beloved here. See, in the eyes of God, you are always a beloved child of the universe, always, no matter how old or old you feel, like your soul feels, it doesn't matter. You are God's baby. <laughs> You're the universe's baby. I'm hearing the word pretend, pretend. Be in the energy of what it is that you want. Pretend and act as if your abundance is here, your partner is here, your healing is here. meditation and stillness. We might be in this place too, Aries, where you actually probably most likely are preferring, you know, uh, quiet over noise, uh, and you know, too much, you know, you know, two crowds versus just one, <laughs> right? Fast versus just going slow right now. Peace will prevail if you give yourself some deep, quiet meditation. The fact that this meditation always seems to come out, I just feel like, you know, it's like you're not doing it enough. Come on. <laughs> or you're meant to do it more right now, especially because you're in this process of rebirth and you are getting psychic insights that you can trust. Okay. So be in this place of radically accepting yourself, the situation, things that we cannot change or people that we cannot change, but know that you are igniting something that cannot be ignored when it comes to your needs, your wants, and your fulfillment. 
because you're going to get it one way or another, Aries. Yeah, because you've got this very powerful force and it's like spirit is just saying, slow down, slow down. We're going to be utilizing that for the right time. What else? <clears throat> Grow within your current situation. Don't feel like you are stagnating in growth. In fact, I feel what's happening here is others or another that you already know that you have a karmic story about or something's going on will only stifle your growth, okay? You're coming into an alignment with important connections that serve your highest good, that serve this wise one within yourself. You've already renegotiated things. You're coming into great clarity about what it is that you want, who you want, and also the place that you want to just be, right? Being acceptance of yourself wherever you are. Not feeling a void. That's the secret too, Aries, is not to give in to feeling a void or a longing or a yearning. You're in this place of already it. You are it. What else? Oh, these cards just fell over close to me here. Um, love and let yourself be loved. <laughs> You're going to need to open your heart more and more. In fact, don't close your heart. It's going to be hard not to, okay? It's just going to resonate so deeply with your heart, your soul, your mind, everything. You're transforming and unveiling your gifts. See, you're hanging out doing this rebirth here. Yeah, trust in the unknown, Father Sky I told you. God is taking care of you, Aries. There's, oh, and I feel like this kind of matches the thumbnail here. <laughs> and it's, it's, yes, yay, yay. See, you got it, Aries. Ooh, God's got... Uh, God's got uh, eyes on you here. Trust in the unknown. You are transforming, unveiling your gifts. So yes, yes, you might be feeling a little bit out of whack, <laughs> uncertain. But that's because your rebirth is being um, assured here. And also you can trust what's happening here when it comes to engaging within your environment and spirit guides and God, what are the signs telling you? And I feel that you're also a revealer of truth here too, Aries, okay? And so that may be hard for some people to be around an energy of someone that is a truth revealer. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... Um, Oh my gosh, why am I thinking of like cockroaches? But there isn't there other things like rodents or something like when you if they're like all like, you know, eating something and you turn the lights on, they all scurry. That's that's you. <laughs> You're that light. It was like, ah, they're like all scurry here. But the ones that stay are the ones that are your students. <laughs> Those are the ones that are inspired by you in some way, shape, or form. So lead with love and light, right? Just by doing and being. And by the way, I do hear that if you're not feeling so generous now, there's going to be a, play, a point in your life where you're going to be so abundant that the generosity just exudes off of you in, a, in the most natural state and a way of being here. What else? <clears throat> it's like truly the gift that keeps on giving. So keep trusting in your gifts because your gifts are the gifts that keep on giving. Some of you may be recognized for something. You may have an opportunity or a contract being made up for you career-wise or, or something. Magician's sword. Oh, I'm not surprised we're talking about you weaving here. Confidence in your magic. And all, actually, confidence is your magic. Act as if, right? It doesn't mean you get too overly confident that you miss the point. But this is a time to stay straight and focus here. I think I said, I felt like I said a new outcome is 
or some kind of new outcome. I don't know, prepare for a new outcome, and this is it. Anything is possible at any moment. You have everything that you need. Mostly right now, what Spirit is saying is focus your mind. Your mind is ship shaping and shifting your reality. And you want to stay aware. You want to be clear and shield, shield your energy because at any moment here, <laughs> you're taking that sword and we're moving. We're shaping. We're exploring. We're weaving. What else? Honesty. See, Aries, you can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. See what I mean? When you show up, Maybe just even your presence, people can feel it. <laughs> they run off like rats or cockroaches. That's all right, though, because you're a butterfly. This is what I'm seeing. You're a butterfly. They're just caterpillars. They'll, they'll stunt your growth. H hello, justice. You need to trust that God will bring you situations and people that reflect that sense of honesty within yourself. You can expect honesty for take the high road in a situation anyways, um, Aries. You don't need to be right or force a situation. All you got to do is take the high road here because uh, the situation is favoring you. Reaping what you've sown. And what you've been sowing is, uh, um, is uh, honesty, um, authenticity, uh, lo looking or moving away from falseness or falsehoods or false stories or deception. This is why you've got this spiritual alignment here. This is why you deserve what it is that spirit is saying to focus on here. What else? Also, secrets, if there have been secrets or lies, they may be revealed, actually, here, Aries. And possibly, you never know. There could be something about um, being open to apologies. Aid of water. This is this time to replenish. This is this empty well. Something is not enough for you, and you already know it. You may be experiencing, um, you know, this... this feeling of really having to move on, right? A desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So this is just confirmation that yes, you're ready. You're ready for something better. You're ready for the next thing. Because if you stay here, it's only going to feel like it's drowning you. What else? Guilt, release any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth. And also, sometimes when we're moving on and we're advancing, we could even feel guilty for that. But that is not your problem, right? Every soul is evolving at its own pay at their own pace, their own lessons. You might even be at the Ten of Wands here with this guilt. You might have carried or tried to carry others into the light. That is not your job. You, you do what you can, <laughs> but this is why you have to clear and shield your energy because you may be having some, um, or you may have learned a lesson in the past where it came to blurry boundaries, but feeling guilty is a waste of your time. It serves no purpose. In fact, it's not going to serve any purpose here. There's no, there's no room for it. This is what the ego likes to hang on to too because that's part of holding you back into the past because the ego doesn't know what's going on to the future and this is why you're trusting your intuition because your intuition can feel what's going on in the future. This is why sometimes um, being too logical won't work. You've got to be very intuitive. You've got to trust in your gifts here. 
and not other and, and and in fact with that moon card you know justice not all and they're not gonna know you know and this is a thing keep something pure to yourself anyways your success will be proof enough your success is their karma what else peace offering mm -hmm. there's some type some type of news or there may be a, a sacred item i'm feeling a very sacred item on its way here if you don't have it but you know the white uh, buffalo calf woman is signifying a very sacred path for you a very medicinal path for you to open yourself up to love healing abundance exploring adventure in ways you didn't even know was possible offer yourself peace offer yourself forgiveness R rid yourself of guilt worry stress others will actually um aries this may make you feel better if others are meant to come or catch up they will they will so you don't need to feel guilty you might be feeling other people feeling that okay <laughs> and what i'm seeing is like god does not want you to focus on that because you got the three of wands this is looking out to the future you got the eye of the needle here you got the sun and fertility this is all new with the magician sword this is this is new energy you might even be working with some old stuff right now and turning it into something new. So pay attention to things, especially because the magician's sword is out. So we've got what we need and something might be, you know, lighting up in your environment. And that's like the go sign, you know? Didn't we see um, Archangel Michael? Oh my God, did I see Archangel Michael? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you can do it. Okay, what else? Right. Ooh, this is a good. Ooh, look at that magician sword too. The power of writing or communicating. R okay, you were born to write and create. You've got this ability to channel divine, uh, you know, messages, whatever. <laughs> write, write a new story too. Right, but you are being encouraged to write because you're growing within your current situation and whatever it is that you're doing, somehow, some way, it's helping others too. Jesus is here. Jesus, open your heart to love and you even have the heart guardian off of this deck. Love and let yourself be love. Yeah, look, Jesus is, rid yourself of guilt. You deserve the best that life has to offer. You've worked so hard for this, Aries. In fact, you may even feel like you've worked lifetimes to get to this point. This is why, you know, it's so important for you not to give in to a situation, especially when you have to, when you have to give in to more of the mystery. In fact, giving more into the mystery is going to be your best bet. Don't give in to the known. The known, you've already known, <laughs> Okay, we know that we're ready to move on. We're ready to get our fulfillment. We're ready for this deeper spiritual pursuit or this deeper meaning. And that's exactly what you're getting. What else? Yeah, write down your convictions I'm hearing. Stand in your truth. Stand in your light. Be gentle and observe too. Heart, home, compassion. You know, there is a way to be strong and mighty and respectable, but also compassionate, right? And maybe that's what we need to be compassionate that not all or everyone gets what you get or advances at the same rate or has these heightened senses of awareness, but someone will, Aries. Someone already knows they're connected to you spiritually, always have been. This is an internal bond that has never been broken. This is why there was always a plan. It's been written in the stars. You probably wrote it. <laughs> Compassion. Stay at home in your heart. See, there is something about home. Maybe it is just stay at home a little bit more if you can. 
Okay, save, conserve your energy. Be at home in your heart. And look, butterflies here, see? Celebrating the opening of your heart because it's going to be, it's going to be grand. And what I see is it's like this sun. It's just, you know, look at this. The heart is on fire. Your heart is literally on fire. There's a reason why. It's going to, it's burning success. It's burning and exuding some type of beautiful alignment. Be proud of yourself. What else? The cosmic womb. Look at you. See, you didn't I just talk about you being baby here? No, I, look at that. The divine feminine is got you in the cosmic womb for your rebirth. <laughs> Stay in it. So I do feel that Aries. You know, if the circumstances are forcing you to stay indoors more or at home more, then do that. Don't fight that. Stay home. Be creative. Be passionate, okay? <laughs> but, you know, do what you want, Aries. I'm just trying to help you. That's all. Cosmic womb. You're in the cosmic womb. <laughs> Speaking of drinking water, right? You're 70% of water anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, whenever you're feeling lost or, or, or you forget, there's always going to be a way to hold you back into this space. So if things have gotten a little weird, it's to help you remember your place spiritually. Maybe we've been caught up in too much of things or people, materialism, whatever, right? But this is what's been banishing here. This is what we're seeing the truth of because what we're seeing the truth of, honestly, is just a, a balance of all things. Not One is not greater or overpowering than the other. They all coexist in its own way here. So just when you think you've been fallen, well, you're not. You've been caught here. <laughs> and you're just going through this process of uh, reawakening or awakening something so that you can have remembrance. See, I'm talking about this thing about past lifetimes. Here it is. You know that you've got this internal truth here. You're a spiritual warrior of light. I just heard that. You're a spiritual warrior of light. Never forget this. You will not be on this path alone but you had to do something on your own. You had to, Aries. You had to. There was no other way around it. What else for Aries? Aries, mother, wife, sister, daughter. We may be healing something when it comes to motherhood, being a mother, a mother, a lack of mother, or a feminine in one's life, a best friend, a sister, aunt. I mean, whatever, cousin. But most importantly, I do see Empress coming through with this mother, wife, sister, daughter. And we have this uh, divine feminine here. So there is a, there is a, I'm getting a queen of cups here. There's someone here, Aries, that's going to offer you a way to open your heart even more. Now, you got to trust this. I know that you've had a situation, right, where we've had to deal with untrustworthy people but practice makes perfect. You are sharpening your own skills and discernment. You will know and not be fooled here. So when someone shows up or the opportunity arises for you to offer yourself for love, guidance, comfort, do it. Absolutely do it. Also, I'm seeing a, a dream and vision fulfilled here when it comes to matters of a home or something about your home life family. What else? Yoga, stretch, get into some type of physical fitness. Yoga might be calling you just stretching or stretching your ideas, your mind, your ways right now to remain flexible but also we're just being very poised and aware, doing things possibly too to keep us out of our mind and more in the present moment. 
So when you're breathing, really breathe and breathe deep down into your diaphragm. When you're eating, chew and really taste it. Every little millisecond that you're chewing something, eat, feel it, taste it, drink it, smell it, whatever. So we're just being easy. So it's like, hmm, maybe this is it. It's easier than you think, Aries. It's easier than you think. What else? Aries, detach from the damn drama. Gosh darn it, I know. You know, it can be easy to fall into that trap, right? That's <laughs> uh, spiritual narcolepsy. But hey, detach from the drama. You can do it. Say no, okay? Say no to others' uh, demands on your time and your energy for those that resonate with that because I do feel that there are some drama kings and queens or something's going on here, Okay. If it's a waste of your time, be honest. It's a waste of your time. Don't engage. This, uh, this is non-negotiable for you. What else? Go now. Aries, you need to detach, detach or move away, detox from something or someone that is really like sucking your energy here <laughs> or do what you know that you need to do when it comes to creating a, a space for you to feel replenished, right? To stay focused on unveiling and transforming your own gifts. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Aries, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you. How is spirit currently helping Aries? The farther gate, and what was interesting was I'm seeing this as a gate and I was, oh, I was hearing something about um, something like lining up or get, man, anyhow, bold step forward. I wish I would have, could have caught that again before it left my mind. The farther gate, bold step forward. Okay, let me show you something here. This is three of wands. You're ready for the next bold step and it's only going to bring you more adventure and uh, abundance and goodness, okay? We're going to the other gate, right? You Remember I was talking about you closing a door here, chapter, that's exactly what you're doing. You're walking through this, those pillars and that's the gate. The gateway is open, go for it. This is what spirit is helping you with these, this change, a big, bold change, actually. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for Aries. What does Aries have to look forward to in the near future? Oh my God. Hell yes. Fortune's wheel. Luck and right timing. See, we were talking about right timing. This is the near future. This is like will of fortune. Pay attention to these things that are lining up. This is like the precursor to this. Synchronicities, events, people, your feelings, be in tuned with your feelings and your thoughts. Feel lighter, think clearer, and it's going your way. My goodness, you got the wheel of fortune here, Aries. Um, don't hold back. You're ready for this big change your, um, and your advantage here for taking the high road by being honest with yourself and not settling. Love and light. Take care.